Hi everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to Make Money with AI Agents. Today, I am super excited to show you how to build an incredible AI automation workflow using Anaitan. Anaitan is a no-code AI agent building platform. And this automation, this system, automate candidate resume screening. Imagine having a system that automatically extracts key candidate details and ranks application based on the job criteria. This saving recruiters and HR teams countless hours. Let's dive in and see how this can transform your hiring process. So, let's take a quick look at our live demo. Here on my screen, you can see the automation in action. We start with Gmail trigger that picks up an email with an attached resume. Notice how almost instantly the candidate's resume is parsed extracting details from the contact info to work history and then automatically populates a live google sheet with candidates score with justification we will create this together first we set up our workflow by configuring the gmail trigger within the anytime platform this trigger listens for incoming emails that have resume attachment perfect for recruiters who still use email as their primary application channel. Here I am showing how you can set a Gmail trigger to automatically capture those attachments. When configuring the Gmail trigger, use the query field to filter for emails with attachments. For example, has attachment, file name, PDF. This ensures on the resume trigger the workflow. Here's a pro tip. Add a label like uh, processed resumes to avoid duplicates. Once an email arrives, it sends the attached resume file to our next stage, file upload to Google Drive. Here we automatically upload the PDF resume to a designated folder. Then, by using our conversion tool, we convert the PDF into text. This allows us to easily extract information later. Converting the resume into the text is crucial for upcoming data extraction stage. Now let's set up our AI nodes for information extraction. In this step, we have two nodes working in tandem. The first AI node pulls out uh, key contact details like name, email, and phone number using a predefined JSON schema. And here's the exact JSON schema we use to extract contact info. You can paste this uh, into the output field. Name, extract candidates full name, email exec email address and exec phone number including country code. This is important. Then the second node process the text to extract a summary that includes educational background, work history, skills and uh, finally assigns a candidate score from 1 to 10 with a brief justification. Here's a, a sample prompt uh, we use. Accept and summarize the resume content, highlight educational qualification, work history, skills, and provide a candidate score with a brief justification. Use this prompt to ensure consistent scoring. Evaluate the candidate's education, work history, and skills against the job description. Assign a score from one to 10 with justification. You can write just job description. You will write criteria there. Without uh, specific criteria, scores become arbitrary. Always anchor them to the role. This detailed extraction ensures every resume is truly analyzed for a better screening process. In this next step, we use a, a code not to merge the data collected from the AI extraction. The simple copy paste of our merging code takes the candidate's contact and summary data and combines them into a single cohesive data stream. The code node uses uh, the simple JavaScript uh, snippet, you can see on the screen, to merge data from two AI nodes. You can copy and paste it. This integration is essential to ensure that all candidate information is correlated accurately before it moves to the final step. Finally, we configure our Google Sheets nodes to push the merge data into a spreadsheet. Here, each JSON field from our workflow of name, email, education, work history, skill, score, and justification is mapped to corresponding column in the Google Sheets. 
Map fields are precisely to avoid mismatches. For example, AI's score field must align with the candidate scores column in sheets. Use any times edit mapping tools to drag and drop fields, no manual entry needed. So, this setup not only organizes the data neatly, but also allows you to apply filters and sort candidates based on their scores. Here's a quick tip. Always double check your Google account integration to prevent any errors during data transfer. Okay, beyond our basic candidate screening workflow, you have options to further customize your process. For example, if you are accepting job application via a website, you can replace the Gmail trigger with a form submission trigger. Using tools like Typeform or even a custom web form, you can replace Gmail trigger with a form submission. You can do this in three steps. The type form node, set the form submission trigger, use the same AI nodes, no other changes needed. This lets candidates apply directly on your website while uh, keeping the workflow identical. So, simply add this trigger and the rest of the steps remain the same. You can even introduce additional AI nodes to automatically filter out candidates sending top recommendations directly to your HR team via Slack or email. Okay, to wrap up things up, today's work to cover an end-to-end -end automation for candidate screening, from receiving a resume to extracting crucial data, scoring candidates and organizing all of this in a Google Sheets. This modular, no-code approach not only boosts your efficiency, but also gives you flexibility to adapt the workflow for multiple application channels. Before you go, I'd love to hear your thoughts or see how you customize this workflow for your own needs. Drop your ideas and questions in the comments below and don't forget to join our Make Money with AI Agent School community for more tips, resources and live Q&A sections. And to get this exact blueprint from our classroom section. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.